hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you have seen my face for the very first time my name is Ifeolua and if you're an existing subscriber well welcome back to this place i'm actually glad that you're here well let's just pretend like i didn't come here after a while and you know i just start posting but yeah that's what i'm going to do actually because i'm sorry i'm not going to be doing any life updates because i don't want to i just feel like there's i don't want to talk about anything that happened so i'm not going to be doing a life updates let's just be on good vibes but anyway um welcome to another episode of seeing if a period so for today's video according to the title we're going on an apartment hunting and obviously if i'm going for an apartment hunting that means i'm moving and if i'm moving that means there's going to be another video yay a moving vlog obviously so yeah um, i'm going for an apartment hunting this is actually my first um apartment hunting video or this is the first time ever that i'm going to be doing an apartment hunting i've never i've never really done an apartment hunting before and you know i don't know how it's going to look like but i heard according to people they said it's very very stressful but, and actually it's been stressful because i've been looking for places um from an app yeah if you're in china you can use an app to look for apartments and you know check whatever you want but the houses i've been seeing are freaking ugly are very very ugly they're not what i want so i got the contact of some agents and then i talked to them and then they said that i should come to see the house in person so i'm actually having an appointment with an agent today by 11 o'clock so the time is currently like 10 10 50 something so i'm almost late actually but then i just want to like do an intro so you know you guys know what i'm we're about to do so yeah We'll be going there and with that being said let's just go so i just i just go here right now um let me show you guys around okay we're entering the elevator actually so we're not going to do that So guys a little bit of disclaimer when i was looking for this apartment i was really not looking for something specific i just wanted a single bedroom somewhere that was just comfy somewhere that was nice and also a place that was budget friendly and actually all the agents that i met with were showing me lofts maybe because lofts are just like a lot around the place i wanted the apartment i wanted a place that was close to school that was not really far from school and the places that they were showing me were just mostly lofts this place was not bad except that it didn't have a kitchen and it was 1500 and i don't think i was ready to pay 1500 for a place that didn't have a kitchen and also it had a projector no tv i guess that can do but it was just not what i wanted We used to have each other's playlists No, no we Used to be each other's best friends Yeah This was the second loft I saw And I think this place was formerly a shop Because of the wallpapers and stickers that they have around And this place was actually not bad I like the fact that it had two bathrooms One upstairs and one downstairs The closet space was a lot i mean look at it the closet space was actually a lot but then the decorations and everything was just too old for me i don't know why i just felt like that it was just too old also the bathroom upstairs was exactly the same as my eyes i could not even lift my hand so if i want to shower and do all of that i can't it's not possible and when i told the agent it was like oh there's two bathrooms i can always come downstairs and i was just like two bathrooms are there for a purpose to serve as convenience and to be very honest i was really not feeling this place at all yes it had free wi-fi i don't know if i mentioned that earlier but it does have free wi-fi this whole place is filled with lofts and i don't know i'm not a fan of the lofts that i'm seeing even if i would like to live in a loft uh, kind of apartment i don't know the ones I'm seeing, I, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I don't like them just yet. But anyway, so far we've only seen two, so yeah. Uh, they're trying to look for another one, so maybe we'll go to the third place. 
This loft was so cute immediately i saw it i was just like this is so cute but baby 1700 every month was just way out of my budget i was not ready for it so i just didn't take it but the surroundings everything was cute it had free wi-fi too so there's everything you need actually in this place but it was just way out of my budget Oh my god is it just me or my face looks dark hey guys so today is day two of house hunting yesterday was so draining i was so tired and um the first agent the it was not really productive because the houses they were showing me one of like there was just something there was just something they showed me another one which you guys saw but then the second one so what even happened with the second one? Oh yeah the second one okay that's the toilet right the toilet upstairs was literally my eyes like if i enter the bathroom right i can't even raise my hand to even like i can't like my hair was like literally touching the ceiling i know that i can always come downstairs but what's the point of having two bathrooms the point of having two bathrooms was because it was convenient right i mean if you don't want to go downstairs but then again i still didn't like the other the third one mm -mm. I was not even going to going for that. And then the other one that I liked, I really liked the expensive one because it was cute and all of that. I think it was also expensive because it was like directly under a mall. But then the place was just so neat. The aesthetics of the place was cute. Like I'm talking about the surroundings, like the the surrounding itself. It was just very neat. But B, nope, I'm not going for that. The next agents we went to see, actually show, showing us pri some prices that were reasonable. But then the house is at some point I even stopped vlogging because I was like, nah, like this is just not it. And I was just so tired. I was feeling very, very sleepy. So I was like, maybe because I'm feeling sleepy, I'm not seeing the beauty in this apartment. So I just left it alone. I came back and then I slept. So today I'm meeting with another agent. She's been showing me some houses. Although the houses that she's been showing me, the prices too, some of them are reasonable, some of them are not. But then she's like, oh, let's meet first. We meet with the landlord. If the landlord can compromise, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay. So yeah, I'm going there. I'm having the appointment around 11.30. <laughs> so i arrived this is the same location for the place that that was 1700 yesterday so guys this was the next apartment i loved i absolutely loved this place this was a two-bedroom apartment and this place was actually new no one had lived there i'm sure if you see around you find things that are still being put in place it had a rice cooker it had a water dispenser it had everything basically and even though i didn't have a roommate i feel like the price was okay for a two-bedroom apartment if you know what i mean this was just perfect this was just okay this was just nice so guys after i saw those other ones those other apartments the agent said she had one more to show me and this place that she was showing me was actually inside an estate the other ones were not inside an estate they were directly under a mall and this one that i saw this one was actually the one i wanted to go for because not only was it spacious it was exactly what i wanted the only bad thing i would say about this place was the fact that when i entered it was smelling of curry the last person that used it probably used to cook with a lot of curry but i felt like the smell was something i could get rid of if i start living there but then the agent talked to the landlady and really she knew it was a foreigner i wanted to get it she was like 
well she's so sorry she would have to consider it she doesn't think she wants to rent an apartment to a foreigner because of the last experience she's had with the previous foreigner she said they didn't used to pay pay the rent early enough and our own policy even if she's going to give it to a foreigner our own policy is you have to pay 10 days before the next rent expires so when she said that and with her saying she's not even considering a foreigner i just felt like she might be a bit of trouble and there's nothing that is worse as having a landlady that is going to cost you trouble and whatnot so i was just like you know what i don't think i even want to take it to so i couldn't take it this was the next apartment i saw and this place honestly the arrangement of this place just bothered me i don't know why it bothered me because it was not so different from the previous one except that this one the bathroom and the kitchen was literally sharing one door the bathroom also has a door yeah but the fact that you enter the kitchen first to enter the bathroom was just bordering and there was no tv there was no couch it was a two-bedroom apartment but i think the i think one bedroom would be used as storage because obviously it's so small for a bedroom and it was just the arrangement just bothered me honestly it just really bothered me so guys this was the last apartment i saw and in conclusion i feel like renting an apartment in china is actually very cheap considering the fact that most of these houses comes with the basic things that you need i'm talking about a fridge a tv a washing machine some of these houses even comes with ovens and microwaves but you know you guys should let me know what you think in the comment section let me know the house that you resonated with and the one that you think like you would have gone for or the one you think i went for thank you for watching my video like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys